like me better when I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better. Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. So as you guys can see from the title down below, today I'm going to be sharing my everyday makeup routine. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right in. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop straight in. As you guys can see, my eyebrows are already filled in. By the way, if you are interested in an updated eyebrow routine, I did just go ahead and upload one. So I'm starting out by priming my face. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So this was actually sent over to me by e.l.f. I've been using it for about two to three weeks now and I like it. However, I'm still in the market for a good primer. I actually wanted to try the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So if you have a nice primer, feel free to drop it down below or if you tried the Milk Hydro Grip primer let me know down below how you like it but yeah this primer is still nice you guys know that elf is on the more affordable side so that's always nice and it does leave a white cast but it's totally fine because you guys know after you finish priming you put on your foundation so you can't even see it Alright, so now it is foundation time. I am actually using the Anastasia foundation and I absolutely love this foundation, you guys. This is, I believe, my third bottle. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this foundation. I absolutely love it. And then to go ahead and spread out my foundation, I like to use this brush. So I love this brush because of the angle. It allows you to one, spread it out, but also it allows you to get very close to your eyebrows. That way everything blends very nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread this out and then we're going to continue to blend. Now that we have everything spread out, we're going to use a damp Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Make sure you also bring everything down your neck because you want everything to, you know, match. You don't want your face to be one color and your neck is another color. So make sure you are putting it in your edges a bit. Make sure you're bringing it down your neck. You just want everything to be in unison. So I literally sit here, listen to music and I take my time and I blend. you guys so now it's time to highlight i like to use the la girl pro concealer in the color fawn now this is the same concealer that i use on my eyebrows again go ahead and check out my updated eyebrow routine i just uploaded that for you guys so i go ahead and i highlight my chin my forehead the bridge of my nose and then under my eyes so i love this concealer one because it's very affordable it's about four to five dollars you can find it pretty much anywhere it's at like ulta your local beauty supply store or you could just simply order it off of line also you guys it's very thick so the thing about la girl pro concealer is you want to let it sit that way it can get super tacky which is amazing because it gives you full coverage so you guys are literally going to sit here and watch me sit on my phone <laughs> so my concealer can get tacky once i let it sit for maybe about like a minute a minute and a half i go ahead and i blend it out now I'm just going to go in with a new clean Real Techniques Beauty Blender and of course it is damp. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. As you guys can see this kind of matches my natural skin tone so it doesn't really give me that highlight effect. So I am going to go back in with a much lighter concealer that way I can get that highlight look. But we're just going to blend, blend, blend.
so now I'm going in with my Anastasia in the color banana and this is going to give me that highlight effect as you guys can see this is plenty of shades lighter than me so this is going to give me that more highlighted look and I'm going to be putting this in the same spots that I put the LA girl pro concealer as you guys can see and I'm using the same beauty blender that I use for the LA girl pro concealer I'm just using the opposite side so the reason why I like to use the same beauty blender is because if I notice that I'm dragging it out of its like spot where it's supposed to go I can easily just flip the beauty blender around you know and clean it up with the LA girl pro concealer that way my highlight can stay in the area that it's supposed to be in so I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out and then we're going to go ahead and set our concealers For setting powder, I like to use the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the color Honey. So I like to just tip it over, knock on it a bit, and then some falls inside of the top. So again, this is in the color Honey. And by the way, I have my mini one with me because I'm actually in Vegas right now. I'm on vacation. I like to go ahead and go back in with my Beauty Blender and then I set my face. So when it comes to setting my face, I do not bake. I go ahead and I press everything in. This ensures that I do not get a flashback. Also for my melanin women, you guys know Laura Mercier actually just dropped this color honey, which is great for us melanin women because it has more of a tint as opposed to their translucent powder, which is of course very pale and it doesn't really work with our skin tone. So I highly recommend one, not baking and two, grabbing the color honey if you are melanin like myself. So you guys will see me go ahead and set my highlight spots, my chin, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and I'm patting everything in but before I go in I am going back in with my beauty blender to make sure I do not have any creases and then I go in with my powder because once that powder is down you can crease bring some color back onto our face we're going to be powder contouring I like to use this short dense brush from real techniques and I'm going to be going ahead and contouring my cheeks my forehead and then also underneath my chin Going in with the same contour palette, I'm also going to go ahead and contour my nose. I'm also going to bring that same color up on my eyelid. You guys will see what I mean in a moment. That way everything can look in unison. I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend that nose contour out. Alright, so we're almost done you guys, I promise. Now I'm going in with my big bronzer and this tapered brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the same spots that I contoured which is going to be my cheeks, my forehead, and then of course under my chin. I absolutely love this big bronzer you guys. This just makes me look so warm and so summery. You guys will see how much of a difference it makes on my face compared to just having a contour. Yes, contour brings color back to my face but this just warms you up so I absolutely love 
love big bronzer and then we're going to move on to cutting our cheeks and this is when you'll really notice it once I use my setting powder and then I go ahead and I cut my cheeks so you guys can already see that highlight on my cheekbone it is absolutely gorgeous and then you guys just picture it in the summertime in Vegas to be exact it's just it's it's cute girl okay so I get ready to apply false lashes by applying mascara to my own lashes this is the milk mascara I actually really like this I got this in like a little birthday gift from Sephora I really really like this I'm actually going to go and get a bigger version but I always you know go ahead and prep my eyelashes for falsies by applying mascara now I'm going to go in with my big fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend away that powder so I actually like to squeeze my brush during this just so I can you know make sure it's 100% gone and then I go ahead and I blend my entire face with the same brush I really really love this brush because it's so big and it just you know mixes everything together next I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then after setting my face I like to put my blush on top and then after my blush we're going to go ahead and do our lip combo and do not mind my eyelashes you guys I'm going to reapply some more glue this always happens once you know I set my face and the glue just kind of gets wet so yeah don't worry I go ahead and I fix it so now I'm just going ahead and applying my favorite lip combo So you guys, that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh